Let's join Jim Antas, Regional Bank Analyst and Mizuho Securities Asia. He joins us here in Hong Kong. Jim, good morning. Good morning. And what do you make of the timing? Is this really a good time? We saw the muted response for Ag Bank. Well, you know, the problem is, um, unfortunately, you know, banking is pretty much a confidence game. And what I mean by that is, if investors don't have confidence, they're not going to buy the shares. And you see this definitely in the A share market. The banks are down about 25%. So I think, you know, then what's the problem? Ah, the global economy. And of course, uh, in China, are we tightening? Are we loosening? I think these are the themes that actually have been dragging investor sentiment. It's not just that, though. We had a report yesterday saying that perhaps uh, Chinese banks will fail to recover 20% of their loans to the local government infrastructure projects. I mean, that's a, a real concern, too. Exactly. I'm looking for the seatbelt when you mentioned 20%. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I think you had to take the, the data there with a little bit of a grain of salt here because. Um, Really, we don't know the source of that data. Uh, you know, the, uh, the H share banks revealed for 2009 that the NPL ratio for their local government loans was 0.05%. That's as close to zero bad loans as you can possibly get. So I think, you know, that seems like unrealistically low. 23%, that might be a little bit high estimate. Um, if that number were right, you'd be talking about $51.5 billion in provisions this year. Uh, that's a breathtaking figure. Last thing I want to say is this, though. Which banks have these debts? And I think uh, the China Development Bank, which is a, really a government agency, has about 50 percent or more. So I think, you know, that uh, even if you're going to have some uh, credit deterioration, maybe the impact on the commercial banks that you and I as investors can, can uh, buy the shares, possibly the impact will be muted. So you're saying that as far as the health of the Chinese banks is concerned, you're pretty comfortable. You know, it's not bad. They, 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 not really. Convince us. Yeah, well, well, let's put it this way. I'm from the U.S. I'm thinking about the U.S. <laughs> banks when I make that comparison. So I think... And make that comparison with Europe as well. Yeah, exactly right. This is the thing. They didn't need a bailout. The economy is very strong. Maybe overheating, maybe that's an issue. But in fact, actually, the banking sector is doing very, very well. In my base forecast, I think the H share banks will have about a 25% increase in earnings for this year. Even if we have the worst scenario on credit, seems to me you're still going to have 20% increase in earnings. That's a tremendous track record. If I were to try to nail you, which banks do you like? Well, the one I like right now, the one that I like the best, actually, is I like Bank of China. Uh, and there are two reasons for this. Uh, the first one is they uh, have a, a deep discount rights offering coming up in the next couple of months. The discount factor is about 40%. When I think about making 40% on my investment, I get interested. The other thing about it is that even without that, it's trading very, very cheaply. You've got a proxy on the Chinese economy. It's a good bet. Okay, so which one would you stay away from? Quickly, Jim, 15 seconds. Honestly, China Merchants Bank, it's too expensive. I don't spend extra money to buy a bank this year. Jim Antos, good to have you with us today.